everyone, I need to hear more time to chuck. I'm going to do a DIY shopping bag and uh, today we all need our own. I have the perfect stencil for a grocery bag. Um, I am using some ink and you can uh, make this permanent uh, once you heat set it. I'm going to um, outline it all so that I can paint my carrot and my leaves. You can also um, ink on both sides of the tote bag. Now, you have a longer playtime when it comes to ink, which makes it even better so that you can blend your colors together. If you want more ideas and inspiration, go ahead and comment hashtag VIP and I'll send you a link. We also have a stencil that has uh, vegetables that coordinates with this. You can remove the carrots and just add the other one, which was a corn, a pumpkin, or a gourd. And it's perfect because you can make it your own. Now, I'm really loving how this is turning out. And when you peel the stencil off, um, it's so easy to see because you can put it back down if you miss the spot. Um, now I'm painting it and I'm using the same green. For the orange, I'm going to use two different color. One will be darker and the other one will be lighter. Um, and then I blend them uh, lightly together and I'm going to um, add a little bit of a green to it. Because when you look at a carrot, sometimes it does have green in it. Now I am wiping the excess um, paste or ink, I should say, on my paper towel and continuing to blend them together. Now I wash my stencil. I'm going to put it on top of the uh, design again and outline my carrots with uh, lamp black. That adds all the details back onto the carrots. Now I'm going to really make sure this is dry, so I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to heat set this at 300 for 30 seconds. If you don't have one, just use a household iron for 4 minutes. Now do uh, the in and out. Make sure that you follow me for more ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.